So how does one use algebra to create a time card? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching College of Mathematics for over nine years. And the algebra that's primarily used in creating a time card is actually a dimensional analysis, which sounds very technical, but all it is is you're converting from one unit to the next. Now, Oftentimes, with, you know, when creating a time card, you're often dealing with hours and minutes. So when it comes to converting, oftentimes you work so many hours, but also so many minutes. So the best thing to do is convert those minutes into fraction of an hour. So as long as you understand that, of course, that 60 minutes equal one hour, you should be good to go. So here's an example as to how you would do that. Suppose a typical day would be 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., and then taking a 45 minute lunch break, let's just say, you start from 12.45 to 5 p.m. Now let's take a look at the 8.30 to 12. Now you know that 8.30 in the morning to 12 p.m. represents three hours and 30 minutes. But it's best to convert everything into just hours. So you know in one hour is 60 minutes, so basically convert 30 minutes to hours. So just divide that by 60 and you'll have as a result three and one half hours or it might be better to write it as 3.5 hours. Now let's talk about the 12.45 to 5 p.m. Now 12.45 to 5 p.m. you know represents four hours and 15 minutes. Again take that 15 minutes and divide that by 60 to figure out how many hours 15 minutes is. Now 15 over 60 reduces to one-fourth of an hour, which you know is 0.25. So really, 12.45 to 5 p.m. represents 4.25 hours. Now all you have to do to figure out the total number of hours worked on that particular day is take 3.5 and add 4.25, and you'll get a grand total of 7.75 hours worked on that particular day. Now you could Repeat that for five day work week if you like, or if there are some hour adjustments, as long as you convert the minutes to the appropriate amount of fraction hours, you'll be good to go for a week, a month, any time period that you would like. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how you would use algebra to create a time card.